Hello family, welcome to Carol Living. We are still in conversation with yet another amazing person, Denise. Some of us know her as Yvonne. She's an amazing friend that I've also met through charitable work and we've connected and we feel like we share values and certain like schools of thought on various issues. And today, like previously we, we were talking to with uh Ramla and we were engaging how we show up in society, how we grew up, how we have grown to understand certain areas in our lives, whether relationships, whether friendships. Just like and I know Denise you you shared with me a lot, a lot of a lot of a little bit of your life and you're like sometimes I feel like I'm un, I'm misunderstood. Sometimes I feel like maybe I could be so assertive i speak my mind i want to discuss things in depth yeah. and then you you feel like sometimes the the environment around you the people may not mm -hmm. exactly understand yeah. so yeah. i just want first to introduce you to our viewers our family carolivian family who is denise wow okay thank you so much carol and carol living for inviting me here mm. uh denise Yvonne nachito is my humble name i'm currently working as a fighter assuring supervisor umeme limited contact center look at that please. i'm also a capital a human capital development director with hallmax consulting limited so mm -hmm. we are here to share ideas you have a business you have a business idea you need to see it grow we are here for you at hallmax yeah so you just reach out to us and we shall help you build that idea into a dream job that you really need and see how you can share spaces with people and all that hallmarks huh yeah i feel like i've had that <laughs> on the movie side wow. like do you are you like sister are you inspired i know hallmark is is a movie house that also does a lot of christian productions yeah. could it could it be hard that inspired you is just something out of uh, no, not really. Uh, mm. It's something that we came up with my business partner, director of financial services, uh, okay. basing on uh, what we wanted, our vision, basically. So mm. our vision guided us on the name that we needed to brand with our business that we're going to share with people out there. So basically our focus is on the ESG, environmental, social, and uh, corporate governance. Yeah. Okay, yeah, talk about governance. We have mm. issues. Today we, I'm just going to pick... On this Carol Living kitchen table, I'm, I'm picking Denise's mind <laughs> about how she shows up in the world. You know, just just before we started, we were talking about work, our workspace, and and we have shared so so much in common that sometimes you're misunderstood because you are assertive. And then I I say, I, I was telling her that I was I I, I did an in depth study that sometimes are people who are like us, whatever you think about. It is in an inflated magnitude. You want to think the in-depth, the up, the down, the sides. Yeah. And then sometimes the environment just provides for just a one-dimensional thought. So you end up showing up as you're aggressive, you're difficult. Yeah. <laughs> you just end up yeah. like, why are you looking for problems? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm I was talking to a friend recently, and I was like, ah, Carol, you over yes. You know, you don't look for problems. So how how do you think that uh, what would you want to be understood as like what is always your value the values gu guiding what you 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 partake of whether it's work whether it's service how would you want people to 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 like to understand who Denise is like okay, what is uh, that picture with time uh, you know I've been struggling it's years back I really struggled with showing up the who I really was out there because mm. I was afraid like Carol just shared yeah what will people think of me mm. what will people say so basically the portrayal of my image out there was what will people say what will people think and I kept on hiding myself inside the inner me wasn't really out there for people to know who really Denise was yeah yeah till I, I, I like stood up and I was like okay I think it's time I really show up who Denise is out there because the real Denise out there has so much to share with the world yes yeah so I started showing up as Denise yeah some people appreciate 
you of course some people yes. think you are assertive yes yeah some people think okay you're too much and all that but mm. basically that is who you are and that is what you want people to know you for you yeah yes so your image that you portray out there really says a lot about you and guides you on how to control your spaces mm. work environment social environment church relationships yeah, it really guides you on who comes into your space, the image you portray there. By the time someone approaches you, they know mm. the kind of person they are approaching, okay? Yes. We see Denise as this, mm. she's approachable, but how am I going to approach her? Yeah? Exactly. I'm just going to approach Denise just like any Swa! random person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I learned to show me for me out there because yeah. I realized that there is really a lot inside of me that can really impact the people out there i stopped saying what will people think what will people say like you know battling with myself inside because mm. you're living for the people i i started living for me yeah and yeah. it has really helped me a lot thank you so much denise for that and uh just to 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 to, to contextualize authenticity being your authentic self yeah. True. is you living out god's purpose over your life exactly. and i know that whereas even society either our brain spaces the way mm -hmm. and, and i always say we're raised to be this way i always say when i think about my dad or possibly your parents they raised us to be these people they yeah. allowed these freedoms yeah. they allowed us to question status quo they allowed us I remember that my dad and mom are also extremely talkative people. Yeah. In depth analysis, we can just go about talking, talking, yeah. say what has met yeah. them. We just talk endlessly. So, once this has modeled you now, you are here, yeah. you're skilled, you're yeah. trying to kind of establish all these boundaries. Yeah. However, how do you like, um, how do you also accommodate the person who may not understand this deeper you? Because, you know, like, in this coexistence space, either you're at work and yeah. you have your boss, or you have a subordinate, or you have a colleague, or you're in a service space, because you know what, some of the challenges yeah, you're telling me about, you're like, oh Lord, yeah. sometimes yeah. I feel like I cannot serve here, because yeah, my yeah. values are not respected. Yeah, true. But there's someone who also feels like, ah, 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 she's mm. being difficult, she can yeah. coexist, she can be flexible. How do you allow, how, how are you allowing, how do you allow this, this who you are also accept the other people in their authenticity in okay. your spaces uh, one thing that i think i've come to work with other principles like i have my principles yeah like i have the negotiables and non-negotiables yeah. yeah so i i said i'm like okay here i think i can bend and accommodate this person and yeah. here i i think i cannot really accommodate that kind of person yeah though i really try to help such people through mentoring you know yeah. you talk to them you engage them you try to understand them because sometimes mm. people do not know who they are yes yeah. so through your conversation you start by holding a conversation hi how are you mm. you know you first make them you create a safe space for them to yeah. that enables them to talk about themselves to you okay and the moment you get to know them it's really easy for you to see how to deal with such people mm. may say hey i'm carol okay carol what do you do uh, okay, what's what's your passion? You know, how do you spend your free time? Yeah, you create that space for someone. If someone can trust you with that information, then you're like, okay, I think this is how I'm gonna deal with this person, and this is how I'm gonna bring in this part of my life to engage mm. such and such a person. Yeah, though yes. I really have non-negotiables. Yeah, yes, so, and those are based on like what are the like yeah, just my principles. Change. Like I do not compromise. Yes, yeah, if I'm supposed to do something, I don't compromise. Mm. I do not mess with integrity. Integrity is very important. Yeah? yeah, I need to deal with straight people. You have to be straight and upfront. If you want it, like like I do not want people are not straight with issues. Yeah. yeah, so integrity is very important when I'm dealing with people. I do not compromise by the one. Most people think, ah, you're tough and all that. Yeah. yeah. I'm also friendly and you know people come up and ask me but go nyiga code yeah really nyiga but mm. you know we are human and we are all bound to make mistakes sure. so I live in that way where that okay in case someone does something to me yeah. how do I react how do mm -hmm. I bring I think it also depends on your upbringing the kind of background that you come from and the environment mm. it really has a big role to play on how we portray ourselves out there yeah. though people don't give it much attention but I think also it's a very important aspect in our dealing with people out there. How were yes. you brought up? 
yeah. which kind of environment did you grow up from yes what really influenced you what impacted you and some people have traumas that really impact on their lives till mm. adulthood so really there are so many things i wouldn't want to limit myself to just a few things but okay. the few ones are integrity yes really, i like to deal with people who have integrity so for you the underlying fact is integrity yeah. it's uh, your value system cannot be it's not a negotiable oh no it's, it's a non-negotiable if yeah. you're not in the value system totally yeah. Malayan, please hear the this is like a 911 how to be the <laughs> friend <laughs> I like how to be dead you have to be straight yeah no okay you see yeah i, I love dealing with tra straight people really. yeah i was just telling her earlier that uh you will find your tribe like i know that we live in a world where by integrity has like gone away wide and i'm not saying i'm not even trying to affirm that anyone is perfect really everyone there's no there's no perfect human being we all yeah. fall short in one way but there is at least that underlying value that i'm trying to do good i'm trying to be better if I make a mistake or I fall down, I want to wake up and raise and raise on the right side. Yeah, true. on the right side. And uh, for me, my, my I would like to draw you to the negotiables and non-negotiables. Yeah. Now, in this, we are all in a service space. We share a rotary yeah, service maybe space. Maybe before you go to that, mm. there is something that people always talk about: trust, trust, trust. Yeah, trust is very important, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm assuming I've just met someone. I yeah. don't know them. They don't know me. You know, trust is built over time. Yes. So I really wouldn't uh, base on trust as a key element for mm. me to relate with someone the first time I meet them because today someone can be trusted and tomorrow, tomorrow the, the story changes. But a person of integrity, trust me, they'll be honest. They'll be up to everything. Mm. The moment someone has integrity, everything will just fall in line. Because yeah. they are guided by that, they're like, okay, if I do this, there is no integrity. If I, yeah, so mm. basically, that's why I'm like, integrity is it for me. The other day, I was reading and I was amazed. I was actually researching for this for this yeah. our court session, and I was amazed at how very many values actually like there were like three hundred values, and they were underlying the values in the workspace, mm. the values, personal values. They were underlying the values maybe in your social space. So they were just saying like. The people you meet and relate with, whether they're just your friends, whether they, you choose to be in a relationship, one of the yardsticks to check out is if they align with your values. Mm, Do they sometimes not align with your values? Yes, <laughs> we are human beings. Sometimes like yeah. I want to be accepted. Come be no, I no, want to be true. accepted. Yeah. But sometimes you're like you, 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 you have your thermometer sticking, like like showing you that mm -hmm. this one no, this yeah. one no. Yeah. And you kind of, if you really ever get entangled as the word in whatever way that it's a relationship or it's a, you find actually that it will either just go wrong or you, if, if you have the thermometer still reading, honestly, you just like, I think, yes, I might have said something, but I think this True. is not for me. Because yeah. your, your value system is always screaming, you know, mm -hmm. and they are various, like when you think about moral, it could be moral values, I mean, it's integrity, yeah. It's trustworthiness. Trustworthiness is not something that you do for one a person yeah. you just mm -hmm. met. Yeah. Let true. me correct you. It's not something you just do for yeah, one you met. It's and over time, it's a person demonstrating mm -hmm. their level of consistency yeah, true. in the in I mean in, in the value in the attributes of integrity. Because I don't mm -hmm. think that I should say I trust someone. I trust them to be the villain. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm trusting this event. But in a social space, I just wanted to bring it home. Whereas we can talk about this, like there are too many technical jargons, academic true, jargons. Yeah. In our space, what have you seen that as a young lady in in the workspace? What are your biggest challenges and how are you dealing? How would you ensure that these challenges are not turning the way you were like one relationship if it doesn't work out or if it has challenges, how do you ensure that it's not inhibiting your shine, like you're not still going out there to, to do your service to humanity in, in whatever way that work, whether at, uh, at, uh, at in service or even at home in, among family. Okay, uh, one thing that I've really come to understand is that growth is a continuous process. Yeah? Yes. So you outgrow, like you always tell me, you learn, you're supposed to learn, you're supposed to unlearn certain things. You so, evolve. Yeah, you evolve. So it's the same thing when you're like dealing with challenges. Some yeah. challenges, of course, people say they break you or they make you. So your yes. reaction to challenges really shape 
the kind of person that you are out there you are to your work you are mm. to your family and all that yeah mm. so i've learned that growth is continuous and learning does not end yeah mm. so one thing that has really helped me to overcome my challenges at my workplace is that i love feedback i'm yes. very positive when it comes to feedback yeah when i get a challenge Yes, you may be, I may be your, your senior, but I always come to you, hey, Carol, yes. how do you deal with this? Yeah, you know, yeah. people think that seniors don't learn from juniors, but uh -huh. that is wrong. Yeah, because yes. you may know something that I do not know. So yeah. I'm always positive to feedback. I encourage my team to share feedback with me. Mm -hmm. I look out for mentorship programs, yeah, because there's always a lot to learn from mentorship. Exactly. If I know that, oh, Carol has a skill that I don't know, and I really love that skill. Trust yes. me, I'll find ways of reaching out to Carol to teach me that skill because that skill is going to help me overcome my challenge. Yeah, Indeed. so I'm not this kind of person who believes in I cannot. Yeah, mm. because in my vocabulary, even uh, people around me, I always tell them, eh, mm. I don't want to hear I cannot. Why mm. can't you? Eh? You must improvise something. Eh? Yeah. yeah something comes up it's telling you okay wake up you need to think to get a solution for that yeah, yeah? you don't sit on the problem you keep on sulking Deep and all, yeah and, and all that that's really <laughs> going to affect you in every area your relationships you see yeah. everything so really i've really over relied on feedback and also growth looking out for people who have experience in my field of expertise i share yeah. with them they share with me they guide me and all that and that has really kept me strong so to me a challenge after i like challenges because they challenge me as well to be a better person to grow yes. into something big and better yes yeah. but but um thank you for even just shedding light on that challenge is solution oriented whereas i think solution oriented i am also a big we have this challenge what's the solution let's get the solution let's move but sometimes the solution they ask if the solution but if the people propose the solution it's for you to change yeah so you know sometimes it's a, a bit especially maybe in workspaces you know yeah. we all have uh, operating procedures like yes. uh, processes yeah? yeah sometimes you know you don't want to violate protocol yeah you may find that a solution that you're supposed to provide has to violate protocol and you have to work in line with the processes and mm -hmm sometimes it deters you it drains you because you feel it's not working mm. you feel the solution that would work is not really catered for in the processes and yes you know you end up being beaten sometimes drained and you know you end up like oh man i, I mean yeah you allow yourself the permission <laughs> to do all men for one yeah, day some, yeah, yeah sometimes you try to bend and you're like okay let me try this and see if it works but you're like okay but really yeah, so it's really a challenge if it's not catered for in the processes to just mm -hmm. bring it on board. Yeah. My my ask would be basically I would draw your attention to something we we're talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. You said you have had sometimes to say like a new service face and say, Hey, I'm not willing to work at this point in time mm, yeah. because my values are my critical values are not really being catered for. And my question to you was, what about are there others who don't who are in who still stay in that service space with you that would uh they have the values? How, what would you learn from them if they are there? Or you you would be like ah, ah buona. <laughs> no, not really. Of course they are, yeah. yeah like so he's... how what would you learn from the one who decides, okay, I know this person, maybe my leader may not be in leaning are you in, in 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 our volunteer space being a person yeah. who is a volunteer myself it's 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 a moving target to understand and to just constantly want to be of value in your best authentic self you know sometimes you say the, the limitations are different people are, are too many people different schools of thoughts different yeah, backgrounds true. different educational diverse the diversity the way you see it and that's yeah. for work that's for friends everything yeah. i have found that as we are evolving part of growth and for me being your senior <laughs> is you learn to accommodate yeah you learn to accommodate not excite something that doesn't mm -hmm. stick with your value but just to accommodate them but to where you're not you are not impacted like to yeah, well, to am, accommodate with a very clear boundary yeah true like okay i'll, I'll coexist but this is my boundary yeah. so as long as you can stay this side i'm good yeah you're not crossing over here but we shall send the service space hopefully 
as we grow and evolve you learn we shall learn from each other what, whatever this you're doing let me be specific are you in a relationship yeah a hot yeah. seat <laughs> hot seat <laughs> serious one <laughs> how yeah. do you think that you show up for and against this relational space with these views are our very personal views everybody you're respected out there these don't represent anybody i just have to put a disclaimer and uh just respectfully how do you think as a person you show up and it works for you in the relationship space you know like this yeah. or against you yeah, okay um what i came to realize is that uh, initially i would uh, react based on emotions yeah mm. whatever doesn't work for me i would really react i would do what because i felt the other person really had to understand me yeah? yes but uh when i really understood it's a win-win two way because it takes two to tango i really had to understand yeah I had to understand my partner, know yeah. what he likes, what he doesn't like. Okay, to the point that, okay, I can tell when he's not happy, when something is wrong. And I'm like, okay, I think I need to work on myself in this area. And I'll quickly apologize for my mistake. Before he, he even points it out that, hey, mm. this is it. I'm like, you know what? I'm so sorry. I messed up here. And I know it will not happen again. Please, like, you know, I make sure the other person gets to know that, okay, I've messed up, yeah? And when they mess up sometimes, I kind of withdraw because I want them to know that they have really messed up with me. And sometimes... Lucilica. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Lucilica. But sometimes it doesn't work out for me. It can be Lucilica for good. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it goes into Lucilica for good. Yeah, you're like, okay, I mean, this person should understand that I'm not happy. Why isn't he even asking me why I'm not happy, why I'm not doing this? And you know, they stay in their space for you here thinking this person needs to know that he did something to me. And for them, they innocently really don't know anything. So I've also learned to talk about things. Yes. Yeah, when I get hurt, I'll really tell them, hey, do you know what? This happened. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, and we talk about it and, you know, we, we make sure we work it out. So I learned to show up for my relationship. Like, I, I don't do Silica anymore. <laughs> yeah, because it's really a dangerous place to be yes. in. You, you go into that space thinking the other person understands you. And yet, they are, they are innocent about whatever you're going through. And sometimes they don't even know they that they're really it's messed up. Yeah, and, it, exactly. Mm. Sometimes they may think it's work. Sometimes they may think maybe something happened and all that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like I had an issue, and you know, the, the Lucilica was oh my goodness. I was like, okay, this person, how many days? How many days? <laughs> oh my god, days, like, like I know you, 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 you're like, I am, I am hot, but you it's have not, not even said days. It. it was, I think it, it, it's not even days, yeah. I think it was over a month, yeah, like a month plus. So, I'm um, here yeah, thinking this person <laughs> has to know what he did, and yes. the person innocently doesn't know what they did, they are yeah. so innocent and all that, yeah. So I learned, and sometimes for us, what hurts them, it's really something normal to the other party. So yes. I learned to really talk about issues, like when I'm hurt, I'll talk about things. I'll not, you know, be silent, especially if you want the relationship to work out. Yeah, yes. You need to learn how to communicate. Communication is very important. It keeps yes. the relationship working. But if you do see because the other person will not understand. I'm one person, if I'm so, so close to you and I really get to understand you, mm -hmm. I will know if you're not happy. Even when you don't tell me. Empath. Yeah, even when you don't tell me. When I talk to Put you. your hands for empath. <laughs> when I talk to you on phone, I can tell. Mm -mm, yeah. Simon is not okay. I'm like, yes. this is not the Simon I always talk to. And I'll be like, even when I like communicate to you, yes. whether male or female, even when we are texting, the way you you're texting me i can read your, read your your emotions through the messages you're texting your responses you know, i'm very sensitive when it comes to communication i think because yes. I, I i did some bit of communication skills yeah yeah if someone says something plainly but to me the implication is bigger because i already tell my team you know what you may say this implying this but when it comes to communication the implication is bigger whom are you communicating to? Yeah, so it's the same thing when it comes to relationship. Eh? Mm -hmm. You must be mindful of your communication. Don't just say, okay, don't assume. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah, if you really love your person, eh? assumptions don't work. You have to communicate. Amazing. You come up like the big communicator. Sometimes 
we will find out for you. Sometimes him. I don't. When I was a real like this, <laughs> <laughs> I like relationship because like they are just like I feel like it's one of the places. Goodness. Yeah, that you it. show up that really like it. It mm-hmm. just kind of mm-hmm. trains your all yeah. your faculties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But my thing is that I have learned that. Like and, how they say, someone said oh. that. There's something that people normally say that if your eyes are closed, then they will open up in marriage. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> we keep on closing your you eyes. Show open up, up in, you in show marriage, up. you know that kind of thing. But yeah, but I think that, and just like other spaces, relationships, how you show up is a build up of who you really True. are. We're mm-hmm. talking earlier, even just engaging Simon, who is there in the camera over there, yeah. Simon, that. We were talking, all of us have been possibly in relationship longer than you young people. No. <laughs> been a, a happily married person for wow. many years. But you realize that it's just this whole, like, as long as you love yourselves, it doesn't yeah. work. You, it takes skills True. that you're constantly improving, equipping. Mm-hmm. It takes to, yeah. your person has to want. Yeah, true. yeah. You know, so some, there is, a, there is a, a, a person that I follow, a YouTuber, who is just like a relationship expert mm-hmm. or something, who says, especially, and, and this he speaks to ladies, he says, many times we go into relationships and we build what we want <laughs> yeah. and we are trying to mold that person exactly. into the picture we want. True. And he said, ladies, God made you to have this nurturing thing. So mm-hmm. you think you can nurture every human <laughs> being into what you want them to be. It's good to be sensitive, yeah. to know that if this is your person, they will, they, will, they will dance at a rhythm. If you're communicating and they're communicating, that's good, great feedback. It's important to also, and then they say like, you, you're, you're, you're investing as you're watching there. I'm not saying just investing like money, not really. Just yeah. you're investing yourself either emotionally as you're watching their, their feedback, their exactly. investment mm-hmm. back. It's like True. the yin and the yang. Yeah. So if you just, many times you just become silent and just, you know, go into like, I yeah. think, I, I mean, I already communicated. Communication depression for now. Exactly. <laughs> Communication doesn't just work when you have just told them. Yeah, you need feedback either you can work with or adjust with compromise yeah, something. Yeah, and I know for me I'll speak to the men because I'm a lady. Please give feedback. And and I always take this whole difference on how we communicate and how they expect us to communicate. Sometimes it's hard to know how what is actually but if you say this is how i expect it to communicate then it's it's a learning point just know we love relationships yeah. denise and i are still talking about this conversation it's yeah. just the beginning and you'll see more of our tribe coming on board and yeah, dissecting true. issues comment below keep in this conversation of answering some of the questions beyond yeah. the four true. walls carol living kitchen table is just starting we will still bring here food and eat and engage <laughs> yeah. on our cuisine as we keep talking about this. This is just a start and just to just to get to know who we are as a people yeah, and to know we are beautiful in you, know, you are beautiful in who you are, you are beautiful yeah, in your true. authenticity, don't hide who you are, yeah. but yeah. engage in a way that is respectful to others, is accommodating and also you have boundaries that are healthy to you, you know who you are better than anyone else you are your best advocate someone always says yeah. you're your best advocate <laughs> True. if someone is not understanding you please go back and when you yeah. like, oh, again <laughs> if they have not understood go back there <laughs> some more tactics again when you like, oh, you do it at dinner you're like teach cause let me try in the morning come make a breakfast yeah. and like, you try you have to you're your yeah, best advocate you, you so then in relationship out. whether it's a friendship you're your best advocate i know sometimes it's easy to just lean back and just what it's so easy for us to be lazy yeah. just lean back and do nothing but and the other thing carol maybe people should not forget to take care of your, themselves because you cannot pour from an empty glass i'm assuming this glass was empty what would yes. i be sipping from so take care of yourselves yes. ladies and gentlemen yeah. because you can't give what you do not have amen to that yeah I am a firm believer of listening to positive messages, reading stuff that empower you. Yeah, true. Staying in circles that actually uplift you. And even as we conclude and we shall continue this yeah. this conversation, taking care of yourself, it's it's always Paramount, the best. Uh, yeah. You fill up your glass, it overflows to others. Exactly. You keep it empty, yeah. you are detrimental to yourself and even exactly. to others. Yeah. Keep it at Carol Living. Thank you so much, Denise. Next time. Hello, Poppy. We were vibing even with Ramla with the pink. You and I were in the pink. It's the vibe. Thank you so much. Keep it at Carol Living.